Okay, thanks everyone for coming to my talk on importing modules as ESM from Node.js. Quick, who am I? My name is Tierney Siren. Uh, my pronouns are he and they. I'm a senior cloud developer advocate at Microsoft. I'm a collaborator on a bunch of things in Node.js, including uh, being chairperson of the Node.js community committee. And my Twitter handle is at Bittenbang. So how do we use ESM in Node.js right now? Before we get into that, I want to give a quick disclaimer. Uh, ESM in Node is experimental. It is unflagged in 12 and 14, but it is still experimental. Some things might change under the hood. Some things might change in the DX. Just want to keep that in mind. You might not want to push it to production yet, but you might want to start thinking about that if it's something you're interested in doing and if it suits your use case. So there's two approaches to ESM, implicit and explicit. Implicit, you add some metadata to your package JSON and you change requires and module.exports to import and export uh, as appropriate. Um, in explicit ESM, that's literally just the file name, so .mjs and .cjs. Uh, you've probably heard of .mjs. .cjs is a newer addition that's going to come with the development of ESM and Node.js that uh, MJS indicates ESM, uh, that the file is ESM. CJS indicates that the file is comma.js. Uh, so those are kind of interesting approaches to taking that explicit. Cool, so how do we use uh, ESM implicitly in Node.js? So there's three steps, at least for this simple, uh, simplest example. Add type modules to your package JSON. So that's, you know, the property type with the value modules, uh, flip over to import and export instead of require and module that exports and run your code. Here's an example of what you need to add. So literally just one property and that um, all files that are close to that will be resolved as ESM. So all .js files will be resolved as ESM um, until there is another package JSON that has either uh, no type or uh, type common JS. Uh, so, you know, you can actually nest different different package JSONs uh, with different code and they will be able to kind of resolve implicitly uh, according to the nearest package JSON and what that package JSON defines. So here's an example of a common JS uh, file. So you can see it's index.js. So we're implicitly assuming that it's going to be common JS. Const ESM equals, you know, an object that has some properties and module that exports ESM. Here is the uh, ESM version. Uh, we're, you know, sprinkling in some ESM. So we're just going to do same const ESM. Um, and we're just going to be flipping our export to export default ESM rather than module that exports ESM. Uh, to run this previously, for a bit there, we were having to run node with a flag, the experimental modules flag. Now we're just going to be dropping that flag. So this is just going to be, to run this, we're just going to run node uh, file name. So in our case, uh, we were naming that file index.js. So we're going to do node index.js. Take a look at a quick example. So we can go ahead and start by just doing npm init. I'm just doing my shorthand that allows me to automatically autofill a lot of that. Uh, we are going to add uh, type module. And that should be good. OK, so now we're going to create ESM.js, which because we just added type module to package JSON, node will parse the .js as ESM. And in esm.js, we're going to do const esm equals object. That object is going to have a few different properties. So runtime is going to be process.versions.node. Uh, we're going to also have modules, which is going to be the which is going to be the uh, uh, virginal modules uh, that nodes shipping. So this kind of gives you diagnostic information on, you know, the module runtime that's being used. 
and then we're going to do uh, a nice message, which is going to be node, node, ESM. node loves ESM. Cool. And then uh, we're going to leave that there, and then we're going to set uh, export default ESM. Cool. So now this is our ESM file. It's This is going to be run using ESM again because of type module and package JSON. And then from there, we're also going to create log.js, which is simply going to Im oh, import ESM from ESM.js. And then we're going to console.log ESM. Cool. Now, if we node log.js, boom, there's our module version, our runtime version, and our message. Let's talk about explicit ESM now. So how exactly can we use explicit ESM? For explicit ESM, we simply have to change the file name from index.js or whatever.js to index.mjs or whatever.mjs. The .mjs is the explicit part where we're explicitly telling the runtime, hey, this file is, in the case of mjs, esm. Uh, the same is true for common.js. So you know, taking the case of index.js, if we want to explicitly tell Node that this file is common.js and should always be run as common.js, we can just change the extension, the file name, to index.cjs. Uh, Previously, we would have had to run this with node experimental modules, uh, but again, now we're just going to run this with node. Uh, and then in the case of mjs, node, node index.mjs, and in the case of cjs, node index.cjs. This will tell node that, hey, you know, we're running this with ESM or uh, common.js, run it like that. Um, one thing to note here is that you don't have to explicitly run the file. So anytime node encounters .mjs or .cjs, it will run those files as if they were ECOScript modules or common.js. Let's get into an example of that. For explicit ESM, we're going to have to do a couple things here. First, we're going to want to change our file names. So that becomes esm.mjs. This also becomes esm.mjs, sorry, log.mjs. And then we're also going to have to update our import to esm.mjs. And we're going to want to also update our main to index.mjs. And here, type module is optional. So if we leave this here, anything that's still .js will continue being parsed as ESM. If we take it out, everything that's .js will now be parsed as uh, as common.js. So if we do node uh, log.mjs, we get the correct thing. It's running with ESM. Perfect. Let's talk about conditional exports. Specifically, these are a tool that we have available to us that allow us to conditionally uh, export ESM and export common.js. Going line by line, first we have main, which is uh, pointing to modules.cjs. This is for older versions of Node, and it helps us kind of define an entry point for those versions that they will work with, which in this case is the common.js version. The next line creates a exports property that has an object, um, or that is equal to an object, and that object has two properties, import and require. Now, this is the most bare bones example we can have of conditional exports. Um, and for the sake of simplicity here, that's what we're going to go with. You, there's a lot more granularity here that you can kind of use to control this. Um, definitely take, uh, recommend taking a look at the docs if you're interested in kind of understanding that more in depth or feel free to ask in the Q&A or uh, chat with me at some point. Uh, feel free to reach out however you're comfortable. But specifically, the import is uh, exporting. So basically, this is saying when someone is imports this, export module.js. And the same is true for require. When someone requires this, export module.cjs. And in the case of the import, 
we're using module.js because of type module at the bottom there. But this kind of allows us to uh, change on demand what we are giving out. So we've already pre-built these files. We already have kind of done this work ourselves and we're making sure we're returning the right thing for the right use case, which is a super useful feature for a variety of reasons. Um, specifically, it kind of helps us scope down what's delivered to who, helps with things like tree shaking, um, and it helps teams deliver like a more seamless experience when they're trying to transition from something like CommonJS to ESM. If you want to slowly replace uh, your, you know, parts of your code base one by one with CommonJS and move them to ESM, um, this kind of helps simplify that a bit and, and reduce the the immediate need for change and allows you to flip uh, flip the switch pretty pretty incrementally. Additionally, it kind of helps provide uh, a path for maintainers to provide options for user choice. So, you know. I, I personally have enjoyed CommonJS for years and I'm probably gonna be doing more ESM, but for now there's some cases where I just kind of want to be using CommonJS and that's okay. You know, if, if I'm using a module that has this property that, you know, does conditionally export things, I can kind of go from CommonJS, so I can use it as CommonJS and then eventually if, if and when I want to upgrade I, or change uh, to ESM, I can go ahead and do that and kind of flip that switch. So conditional export, exports, as I mentioned earlier, are a subset of the package entry points feature. Um, I didn't really name that, but that's kind of what this, this is kind of a part of. I would highly recommend going and taking more of a look at this. Um, this is in the node docs in the ECMAScript modules section. Uh, it's a pretty complex feature that has a lot of uh, granularity and something that you can it really allows you to control how you want to use it. Um, I've only shown a small bit of it here, but I definitely encourage you to go take a peek at it since the rest of it is relatively concept comprehensive and allows you, you know, to do what you want to do with this. Let's go quick take a look at a quick example. So we're starting off where we did before, except with a few differences. We reverted back from MJS to uh, .js, we've made the same change in our package JSON, uh, and we've gotten rid of our log files because we don't need those right now. So we're going to do exports. Uh, that's going to be an object in our package JSON. We're going to have import the esm.js, and we're going to have uh, require common js dot cjs. So we don't have common js dot cjs yet. So what we're going to do is just we're going to uh, duplicate this file. So we're going to duplicate esmjs, rename it common js dot cjs. We're going to change the values to reflect the common js exports. Uh, in this case, uh, this is something we would want. Generally, you don't, but for the demo, this is what we're kind of going after. And then we're also going to change the export to module.exports commonjs. Cool. So now we have those both set up, uh, and we have our our export set up. Cool. So next thing we're going to do here is we're going to npm init in our new project. So uh, this is just my default npm init. We are going to go ahead and add type module to this. So now this is uh, JS files are going to be parsed as uh, as ESM. And then we're going to create index.js. So because this is .js, this will be parsed as ESM. So we're going to import uh, ESM from simple ESM, and then we're going to console.log ESM. Cool. So if we go ahead and run node uh, index.js, we get our correct output. Now we're going to do the same for common.js. So we're going to create index.cjs. Going to go ahead and do const common.js equals require 
simple ESM, and then console.log common.js. We're going to go ahead and save that and then do in, uh, node index.cjs. We're gonna, so we're gonna run this file and we get our correct output. Perfect. And with that, I just wanna say thanks for joining me. If you have any questions, more than happy to answer them. Uh, if you want to reach out to me, you can, absolutely. I uh, am at bit and bang on Twitter. You uh, feel free to tweet me, DM me, anything like that. Also, I'm on the OpenJS Foundation Slack if you'd like to reach me there. Uh, and with that, thanks.